हेलो एवरीवन स्टडी फार्मेसी वेद प्रभा त्रिवेदी सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर फार्मेसी एंड एजुकेशनल वीडियोस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडेस टॉपिक इज पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट इंफेक्शन आल्सो कॉल्ड एज यूटीआई इन शॉर्ट ओके यू मे फाइंड यूटीआई यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट इंफेक्शंस लेट्स स्टार्ट द जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट इंफेक्शन इट इज अ इंफ्लेमेटरी urinary tract infection caused due to the colonization of microorganisms uti is the most common bacterial infection after respiratory infections it affects our kidneys ureter bladder and urethra it may be caused by bacteria virus fungi and parasites it is more common in females when compared to male the females are at higher risk for urinary tract infections okay now moving further the classification or the types of urinary tract infection basically it is classified into two broader categories the upper uti or urinary tract infection and the lower uti urinary tract infection here you can observe in this figure this row divides this figure into two separate parts this one is upper and this one is lower the upper part has the kidneys and the ureter lower part has bladder and urethra okay now Let's discuss them one by one. The upper urinary tract infection. The very first is pyelonephritis. ठीक है, basically the pyelonephritis is the inflammation of our kidneys. Okay, the inflammation due to urinary tract infection when found in our kidneys, it is called pyelonephritis. Second one is ureteritis. ठीक है, ureteritis. It is the inflammation of our ureter. These these are the upper parts of our urinary tract infection when it is classified in. two categories okay the second one is lower urinary tract infection it also has been classified into two categories the very first is urethritis urethritis is the inflammation of urethra okay this portion inflammation of urethra the second one is cystitis okay cystitis is the inflammation of our this bladder urinary bladder where our urine is stored after the when kidneys filter and from the passage of our ureters it is stored in our bladder ultimately excrete out through the urethra okay so these are the two categories you are required to remember these two categories okay now next moving further the risk factors okay so what are the common factors that uh, may be contributing in developing urinary tract infections in humans male and female as well the very first category is the obstruction in passage urinary passage if there is any obstruction so that may cause urinary tract infection second one is sexual activity of male and female can cause urinary tract infection second third one is very important bathroom hygiene if your bathrooms are not that much clean or high hygienic so that may also call the um, uh, may also cause urinary tract infection fourth one is sperm sites if you are using that can also cause urinary tract infection condoms un lubricated condoms specifically okay diaphragm the patient having diabetes are at higher risk of the urinary tract infection and the persons who have weakened immune system okay those person whose immune system is not working accordingly inflammatory responses are not proper all those person are at higher risk for the urinary tract infection you need to remember one thing the 90% cases of urinary tract infections are caused by e coli okay listeria coli you are required to remember all these things also okay moving further towards the signs and symptoms of urinary tract infection okay so we will discuss the signs and symptoms one by one for our kidneys for our bladder for urethra as well okay the very first category is pyelonephritis pyelonephritis is the inflammation of our kidney so what are the signs and symptoms the very first is upper bladder sorry upper back and side pain second one high fever shaking and chill nausea and vomiting may be observed if you are suffering from pyelonephritis inflammation of kidney second one is cystitis inflammation of our bladder the patient may feel pelvic pressure lower abdomen discomfort frequent and painful urination is observed in the urinary tract so it is very very important okay and if blood is being released in our urine so that may also be a cause okay a sign that the person is suffering from urinary tract infection 
The third criteria is urethritis. Urethritis is the inflammation of our urethra. If you are feeling, you are having the burning sensation during urination, during ejection of your urine, okay, that may be a chance or may be considered as urinary tract infection. You are required to go to your physician or doctor immediately for the test, diagnosis, and for the treatment. If you are feeling any of these signing symptoms, okay. Now. Moving further, diagnosis. How one can diagnose how the uh, patients are being diagnosed that is or she is suffering from urinary tract infections. Okay, the upper and lower urinary tract infections. So very first is urinary urine sample analysis. Basically, WBC, RBC, and bacteria detection in our urine can be used for diagnosis of the urinary tract infections. Second one is urine culture and the blood culture. Basically, the sample is taken for the growing for growing bacteria in a definite culture, and again they are identified and it is assumed or it is confirmed that this bacteria is found is being found in our urine or in our blood. Means the patient is suffering from urinary tract infection. So, uh, Fourth one is X-rays of the these parts like our kidney, ureter, bladder, okay, urethra that may give a rough picture of that the person is infected. Okay, the intravenous pylogram, V I V sorry I V P. We are required to remember intravenous pylogram. Specific test for identifying diagnosis of the uh, urinary tract infection. Again, CT scans may be used and cyto sorry cystoscopy. Okay, yeah, cystoscopy is also used for identifying the urinary tract infections okay now moving further the treatment how a person can be treated what are the medicines and the, what are the several pharmaceutical agents that are used for the treatment of urinary tract infection antibiotics very common okay and the second one is vaginal, vaginal estrogen therapy basically this is for females only women's only and antibiotics can be used for male and females as well in antibiotic when you talk sulfox Sulfabethoxazole, trimethorphine combination can be used, amoxicillin, nitro, furantoin, okay, ampicillin, ciprofloxacin, and levofloxacin are the common antibiotics that, are, that can be used for the treatment of urinary tract infection. They are basically used against bacteria or the microorganisms. Okay, and the second one broad category is vaginal estrogen therapy. This is specific for females only, not applicable for males. Okay, now when you talk about the prevention, all UTIs cannot be prevented. Obviously, we can reduce the chances of having urinary tract infection by changing our lifestyle. Let's discuss them one by one. The very first category is drinking water after sex. If you are having sex, the drink a lot of water just after having sex. Okay, that will help for excrete out uh, all these microorganisms that are transferred during sexual intercourse okay second one is clean your vagina or rectal areas daily or very frequently females are always at higher risk for the urinary tract infections so it is very necessary for them to clean their vagina and the rectal areas very frequently and on daily basis okay and thirdly we can talk about uh, the shower if you are taking sh in take showers instead of bathing so, yeah, do not uh, use your bathtubs take showers Showers reduce the chances of having the urinary tract infections. Okay. Next category is drink lots of fluid and lots of water. If you are taking lots of drinks and lots of water, okay, so that may there may be a chance that all those microorganisms are being removed from our urine through our urine. Okay. Next is do not hold your urine ever. You cannot even dare. There may be chance that you may be suffering from the urinary tract infection if you are holding uh, your urination for a longer duration. Okay, and the last one is take vitamin C or canberry juice. Okay, these help in preventing the urinary tract infection. So all these factors are used for pre the prevention of the urinary tract infection. We already know the uh, prevention is always better than cure, it is better to be prevented then cure okay this was all about urinary tract infection Subs 
just hit the subscribe button for the latest pharmaceutical educational videos like this okay the other information are also being given on this channel so go for subscribe and hit the bell icon this is Rukma Tribedi subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on facebook there is a facebook page naming with madhrivedi and you can also follow me using this whatsapp text or whatsapp message email as well okay bye bye